nice to see you again. After one of episodes of the show Little Women LA, I received a lot of requests from you to recreate this look right here. This is very mermaid inspired uh, bright eye teal look and if you're interested to see how I achieved it, please keep watching. As you can see, I already did my foundation and I set it with a powder and I also did my eyebrows already. So now we're going straight to the eye look. Um, to prime my eyes, I'm going to use Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm going to apply it with Morphe E20 brush. And this brush is synthetic, so you can use it with cream products. So I'm loving this. Now for the crease color, I'm going to use Lime Crime Venus Palette. And I'm going to use this copper shade right here called Creation. To apply it, I'm going to use Morphe M433 brush. I'm just going to lightly apply it in the crease. So we'll have some kind of base to blend the bright eyeshadows in. To blend it out, I'm going to use Morphe E27 brush. Without picking up any additional product, I'm just going to blend it in into my crease so it's not as harsh as it is right now. And I'm just going to take my time and make sure that the whole surface is covered. Now I'm going to use Morphe 35U palette and I'm going to start using with um, and I'm going to start with this color right here. For this I'm using Morphe E17 brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that color and apply it at my outer V. Usually when I do brighter eyes looks, I usually don't do my foundation first. So today is exception. Now using the same palette, I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to apply it with the brush Morphe S20. I'm applying it on the rest of my lid. already pretty bright intense look you can stop right there and keep using these two shades just blend it out and use some more but I love me some drama so I'm just gonna use this as the base now using the same Morphe E27 brush I'm gonna blend out the edges with the same Morphe for Free free brush and the same copper shade from Lime Crime Venice palette. I'm just gonna apply some more of it in my crease because after some blending, it kind of got lost a little. Now to highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna use this um, light yellowish shade from Lime Crime Venice palette. It's called Aura, and I'm gonna use this flat Morphe brush. If you don't have this Lime Crime Venice palette, you can definitely replace this brown and yellow shade with regular MAC eyeshadows. The, this highlighting um, shade, it would be nylon from MAC and this copper shade, um, you can replace with brown script. I love me some real drama, so I'm gonna use Makeup Geek Foil Eyeshadows. I'm gonna use this shade called Houdini and I'm gonna use Morphe E18 brush. I'm gonna apply it just like it is first and then I'm gonna spray it with the um, MAC Fix Plus. These are eyeshadows are and these eyeshadows they are so smooth and buttery. That's why I love using synthetic brushes with them because they are 
something between the powders and the creams. I'm gonna spray a brush with Pix Plus and deepen my outer V a little more. So now to add some drama to inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna use this shade called Fantasy from Makeup Kick. It's the same for eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use the same uh, flat Morphe brush from the kit that, I don't know the name of the brush. I wanna spray it with MAC Fix Plus. And I'm gonna apply it all over the light. I'm just for the most part unpacking and I'm, um, when you pack it actually gives you so much more so much more color. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit to the bottom last time. Just to brighten up a little bit. To line my bottom lash line, I'm gonna use this LA Girl uh, gel eyeliner in the color Gypsy Teal. How small it goes and it gives you a very pigmented line but you can also um, smoke it out if you if you need to and I'm using Morphe M124 brush and using the same Houdini shade from Makeup Geek I'm gonna smoke it out Now to blend all this eye look, the bright one, out, I'm going to use the same copper shade called Creation from Lime Print, the same blending brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of that copper shade around my, my um, bright eyeshadows and blend it out at the same time. So the transition isn't as harsh as it is right now. I'm gonna add just a little bit on the bottom last time. And for my waterline, I'm gonna use this NYX uh, eye pencil. It's called um, Slide On, Glide On, Stay On in a color Azure. Sometimes my eyes get really watery, but so far so good. This um, eyeliner worked pretty well for me. For my eyeliner today, I'm going to use this Inkblot Gel Liner in the color 77. And I'm going to apply it with this Tarte brush. I don't know exactly the name of it. I uh, bought it with the Tarte um, eyeliner. And after I used it, I kept the brush. Now I'm just going to uh, do a little wing nothing dramatic because um, I'm applying I'm applying eyeliner just so I can apply the false eyelashes and make them blend a little so I don't need to add intensity to my eye look already Mascara today I'm using uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the um, color Carbon Black. For false eyelashes today I'm going to use uh, Dev Cosmetics eyelashes in the style Just Thick Enough. I'm going to use them with House of Lashes Eyelash Blue. I think the false eyelashes always make such a statement and such a big difference and 
Um, I just recently discovered this Deb Cosmetics um, um, eyelashes and I fall in love with them because they are so much more affordable than MAC eyelashes or uh, velour eyelashes but they look great in my opinion and um, even though they have a thicker band they are so comfortable to wear and after the first use they like molded for your eye. For my contour today I'm gonna use Dap Cosmetics Contour Kit and I'm gonna uh, mix these two shades together with my Morphe G4 brush. I'm gonna apply it, um, pat it on my forehead. I'm just gonna warm up my face right now without any actual contouring. Now I'm gonna use Morphe E4 brush with this shade right here. I love this contour kit because um, it's perfect for the days when you don't want too harsh of the contour when you want it to be on the more on the natural side. And um, a lot of brands go with very like gray and purple undertone uh, contour kits right now. Um, I love it, but sometimes I just want this very subtle contour and I I feel like these shades give me very natural look to highlight my under eye I'm gonna use the same contour kit I'm gonna use this um, yellow shade right here and I'm gonna use a Morphe brush it came in a kit so I don't know the name of it and I'm gonna brighten my under eye Also, I'm going to pick up the same yellow shade I'm going to apply a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead and in the middle of my nose. I'm going to blend it all together with Morphe E1 brush. For the blush, I'm going to use this pink shade right here and I'm going to apply it with ELF uh, blush brush. I love this uh, pink shade because it's, it's looking very natural but not too boring. It gives you so it gives some work to your uh, face, but it's not overwhelming. For highlighter today, I'm going to be using uh, Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector in the color Color Pop. It's uh, been created by Jaclyn Hill, and I'm going to use Morphe M510 brush. I love this brush because it's natural um, hair brush, so it picks up the powder products very well uh, because the bristles are on the harder side. And also, because I really like that beaming highlighter, so I like to be able to see it from the space. But the brush is so small that you can apply it directly to the areas you want to see it on. I apply just a little bit on my forehead, just a little bit on my nose. I keep it bow. Gorgeous. Because my eyes look so bright, um, today I'm going to use very subtle lip combo, which is, um, first of all, I'm going to outline my lips with MAC Thor lip liner. Now I'm going to use those of colors liquid lipstick in the color stone. To set my face, I'm going to use Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Spray 
and this is pretty much the final look I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you have any other looks that you would like to recreate for you or you have any advices or suggestions as far as the products that you use and like please comment in the comment section down below and if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it and it means the world to me and it was very nice seeing you today I hope to see you guys soon